What is going on, you guys? Bumpkin Bros back at it again today with another podcast. I'm here today joined with my best friend, Riley. And what are we talking up, about everybody? today, my boy? Dude, today we are talking about our BO6, pretty much our initial reaction to it. So we're going to go through the campaign multiplayer zombies and just talk about how we, what we've liked, what we've disliked, something like that. I haven't played... Although we haven't played a ton of it, it's been out for like six days. Happy Halloween, by the way. Yeah, it's it's happy Halloween. Halloween. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, Michael Myers, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we're. I guess we're just gonna talk about that. And before we get into that, I guess we can talk about what games we've been playing. Let's see what I say. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can go first with that. It's All right. So, well, it, it might be pretty self-explanatory, but we've been playing pretty much when we had time BO6 and from the yeah, FNAF exactly. to the Pit. That's all. Like, it's been this BO6. <laughs> Taylor's just been playing BO6. I've been playing FNAF to the Pit a little bit because that's I've been posting it on the channel. But BO6 has really just been BO6 and FNAF to the Pit for me. But when I've had time, I actually haven't played video games in like the last too much in the last week. So, I mean. Honestly, for me, it's just been zombies, zombies, zombies. That's all. That I've I... actually been playing more in the campaign, but I've tried multi. I've tried all three of them. So. That's because we kind of wanted to split our resources across so we can get more yeah, videos like, out for we're you gonna guys. Yeah, we're going to make more videos now. Yeah. But um, speaking of which, I have two. I actually have a couple of different BO6 videos cooked up before DLC one, oh, which. Wow in the pot um they'll be releasing throughout the upcoming weeks and everything like that just depending on when they get done i have a few more like kind of initial reaction type videos not necessarily like reaction but like kind of the stuff that, show, now that the game's thought. like out like kind of our first reviews type thing because yeah. for me kind of full-fledged um, yeah not like full-fledged and because, dlc one isn't even out yet so exactly we have a lot more content Yes, there's a lot of, and we're going to have to give like a full review when the game's out, but like for the first week that this game's been out, which tomorrow will be the the official one week, one anniversary. week day, um, but oh, as it's... Also, Taylor and his uh, girlfriend's anniversary. Happy yep, anniversary. thank you. Appreciate it. Um, but um, yeah, we're just working towards um, trying to figure out our feelings for the game and how it might change. Because, you know, games change over time. You know, initial launches can be, as we know, extremely good or extremely exactly. I terrible. really hope, I really hope my, thought, my thoughts change uh, more because what I might say might upset some people. I don't know, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. It's not like, I'm not going to hate on the game. I am enjoying it. Uh, I have a couple of hot takes for you. I mean, Let's considering see. it's one of the biggest, it is the biggest COD launch that's happened in... Pretty, it's the third biggest COD launch in the entire history of COD, is what they said, or one of the That's biggest crazy. launches. Well, like the most money they made in like the or like the or most the highest players. Um, oh, on gotcha. Yeah, a there Black a Ops lot. game at once. Um, I, yeah. I'd have to look into the exact numbers, but it's pretty high up there. I think it's that it was three hundred thousand concurrent players at once, and that was, uh, and it's only growing from there. Um, and that's not the total amount of people that have bought it. That's at one, in at one given time, there's that amount of players on Steam, Xbox, and I think that was just the Steam player count. But um, gotcha. it's just, yeah. I mean, I I don't know about you, but I've been really happy about this launch. I feel like they it's been handled really well um, compared to some launches that we've had in the past. I think that it has really yeah. The launch is. There's not, it's not been that buggy for me. Yeah, like I've been having a good time. I've ran into a few bugs here and there. That's what took me a little while to uh, complete the Liberty Falls Easter egg. Um, is two nights in a row when I went to go do the projector step, it glitched on me, which really yeah. bummed me out. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's annoying. Especially when you're like 19, 20 rounds deep into the game and you're just like, ah oh, man, again? Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, but I got through it and I completed at least the Liberty Falls Easter egg before the one week is up. I probably won't be able to do the Terminus one because that week is going to be up tomorrow. And tomorrow, yeah. I am not going to be able to get it done tonight. So, um, yeah. obviously priorities, relationship, health, and all that stuff. So. <laughs> right. Family <laughs> exactly. and health. Over, Sorry, uh, babe. 
anniversary's gotta wait. I gotta <laughs> grind out the Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> so that will not be happening. But uh, pretty much, um, it's been like the launch zomb- for on the zombie side of things. It has been a really good launch so far. Yeah. They really turned things Agreed. around from the initial expectations that people had at what would happen. And honestly, kind of the opposites happened. Like by the choice of maps and which players are going to which you have terminus which is the one that you tried and honestly terminus, i really, I, I really like if you guys want to see our my first uh playthrough of terminus it'll be linked up there um that video is on the channel and honestly i had a lot of fun with that map that was a blast Me too. but love the atmosphere to it it's really great uh, it's just, it's really fun, dude. I've only, I only played it a couple times, but yeah, I had a great time when I was playing it. I got to like round, over round 10, so I was fine. I was satisfied with myself <laughs> for doing that. The first try, I was like, let's go, I'll take round 10. That's pretty solid, especially for a first try, because I know that, especially in years, I mean, I got lucky that I got to get all the way to round 19 for my first attempt, but I was really, I was bummed out because I got the wonder weapon and then like less than five minutes after I got it, I died. And I was like, oh my gosh. (laughs) So that bummed me out. But um, I've been playing a lot and a lot of the communities playing, been playing a lot more of Liberty Falls because it's good for camo grinding. It's just a- It's a good first map, honestly. Yeah, I mean- It's a good starter map. Yeah, it's a great- I haven't played that one yet, but it looks pretty fun, honestly. It's a great introduction to like baby's first Easter eggs. And I I wouldn't even say (laughs) that because- Lucas up on this beat. Yeah, exactly. But (laughs) it's a lot more, honestly though, for baby's first easter egg i would say bo3 the giant would be the one that you'd go for oh i love that map That's just map. uh great map the classic fly trap easter egg but for this map it's a great way to get people kind of into that hunt to get them and then what they'll do is now after this week's past i believe they're going to introduce the uh story i can't remember exactly what they call it but basically it'll walk you through the steps that you need to complete to do the easter egg um so like the initial week gives the people that are huge easter egg heads and fanatics that satisfaction of finding the puzzles solving it completing the boss fight doing all that stuff but it doesn't lock out all these other players that aren't very easter egg oriented i guess um when it comes to uh, zombies and all that stuff because i mean uh, especially for the older maps, they can be complex and a pain in the ass to complete. Yeah. So, like luckily, Black Ops, some Black Ops ones are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, this time around, the Easter egg steps are pretty straightforward. It's not anything like way out of left field where it didn't right. take the, the community beat it, I believe, within 48 hours of it being released. Both of them had their Easter eggs completed. Um, I too. Yeah, Terminus and uh, Liberty Falls, but they, they've they been a ton of fun. I've been really enjoying yeah. the L92 or the L96 sniper rifle um, because when you pack a punch it, it basically turns into the scavenger from BO1 and it's got explosive oh, rounds snap. and is a ton of fun. Would yeah, highly that, recommend when you that. you talk about that, that looks cool. And then just the shotguns, because shotguns are always the meta and zombies. Shotguns always the meta and zombies, yeah. Yeah, they do a phenomenal job. But, like, for initial impressions, it's been a ton of fun. Um, a lot of just great, great time overall. Um, unfortunately, my one downside with it is that once you start getting up into the higher rounds, it would be nice if they kind of chilled out on, like, the special zombie spawn. Because, What's- like... Oh, I like there's zombies. yeah, like the boss zombies, yeah. that sort of stuff. Gotcha. Because like it's not gonna lie, a lot more of them. When you try to expel or you try to end the match or something like that, and you got you know eleven manglers, five abominations, and thirty vermin uh, trying to bend you over, it's not exactly a good time. So yeah, you no. basically have to have a chopper gunner on standby to make it out on the later rounds if you're gonna expel. So pretty much expel is no option. It is if you do the chopper gunner essentially so but otherwise you're kind of screwed because you just can't put enough damage out in time because there's just so many bosses i mean i've seen clips of dudes with like 13 manglers out and then they all shoot their arm cannon the arm cannon has auto aim that tracks you 
and he just gets fucked. Like, it's, it's pretty funny, and you can say skill issue Absolutely. all you want in the comments, but when I'm not <laughs> the only one in the community saying boss spam is a big issue, I mean, it's great for camo grinding and everything like that, but it would just be nice if it wasn't... If it was so kind excessive. of structured more like the older Zombies games, where it was like maybe every two rounds or every three rounds you'd get the boss right. spam or something like that i'm not saying it's when that were bad bosses introduced were they, in black they were or? introduced in bo actually bo1 but i would say really like, like see i barely even remember them in bo1 so they really well i guess sense. technically dogs would be the original oh. boss zombie but okay, like when yeah, i'm yeah, thinking yeah. of like a special zombie that's like a heavier zombie yeah. that's harder to kill i'm thinking like, that's what i'm thinking of too. i'm thinking like bo2 with like uh brutus on mob of the dead and oh, okay. um and then the panzer on origins um both of those guys are just brutes and like on the later rounds gotcha. they would come like every three to four rounds and there'd Which, maybe yeah, be like two or three sense. of them spawning but it wasn't right. like a it, it, wasn't it wasn't an crazy. overwhelming amount where you had all different types all at once and a numerous amount of them and it just if it wasn't every single round it would i think it would be a happier balance but yeah. it is fun it's good to have that exhilarating gameplay where you're on your toes and you can't just mindlessly train around but at the right. same time you still want to have those I, rounds I like where you bosses. can mindlessly train around and chill exactly. out for a second and catch your breath it needs to be so. a balance yeah so zombies are zombies at the end of the day we're not in there to like try exactly to like super hard. but honestly zombies has been phenomenal overall yeah and it's been really fun what have you been thinking so far the multiplayer because truth be told i haven't touched it because i got my fill during the beta and i'm gonna play all right i'll it talk about multiplayer it, real quick so. but most of the stuff i have to say is about the campaign because that's where i've been spending most of my time yeah multiplayer i played a little bit of it and from what I have gathered, it's pretty fun. But this is really the only thing. Well, I haven't played much of the multiplayer, so maybe once I play more, maybe my thoughts will change. But I just feel like I just kind of want to go play the Cold War multiplayer. That's really like I just feel like I played it. I'm like, well, I kind of just like feel like playing Cold War as well because it feels pretty similar. Isn't enough well, for no, you? I, the Omni <laughs> well, no, that's fun. That's fun. I like the Omni <laughs> movement, but it's like not like. I don't use it that much. Like it's, I still play like how I used to play from like all the other previous Call of Duty. Sometimes I forget about it, man. Like I don't even use it that much. Yeah. But yeah, I, it's just my opinion. You know, like it's not that big. Yeah. I haven't even played it that much. So like, uh, it's fine. I the only map I played on Payback, which Payback was a pretty fun map. I liked it. It's like the one. It's like a like a rustic uh like town kind of thing. Yeah. It was pretty cool, and I enjoyed it, and I had fun. But, I'm uh, sure when they introduce like, Nuketown on Friday, you're you'll gonna be a happier a lot guy. More stuff. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I just need to play it a little bit more. I've only played like two matches. So. Yeah. I've. Uh, what I really want to talk about is the campaign because I'm actually really liking the campaign so far in this game. Really been enjoying it. I've only played like the first like few missions, but the first one's probably my least favorite so far. It was fun. The ending was awesome. Adler just pops out of nowhere. It's, he's introduced again to the game by coming up and shooting the guy that you've been like transporting the whole time right in the head and just assassinating him. I think his name was like Al. Just some dude that was just in the first mission. And then Adler assassinates him. And then we don't see Adler for a little bit. And the next mission, I'm just, I'm gonna come back and talk about something. Uh, in between each mission, there's these like safe house missions. I, missions they're not really missions but they're classified as missions i guess um and they're all called like the rook something the first one's called the rook arrival and you arrive at the safe house and there's just like three there's three areas you can unlock there's like a there's a gun vault thing that you can do and there's two others that i'm blanking on i've only unlocked the gun vault thing so far um but there's three of them that you can unlock and the safe house is pretty cool you can like search around uh, they introduced this thing called the black light, which you can use a black light and just like look on like things, you can see fingerprints, footprints, and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Woods is there. He's in a wheelchair because uh, from the last game, I, I can't remember how it happened, but something happened where he got paralyzed. Um, I Wasn't think it was this from, whole thing from Black was, Ops? Yeah. It was from Adler. It was from Adler, actually. I'm pretty sure Adler did it. Oh, too. gotcha. Something like that. I'm not, I may be wrong on that. Correct me in the comments if I am. But yeah, the, the Rook uh, safe house missions are fine, but they're not really like why you're playing the game. You want to play like the main missions. And okay, the last two missions I've played are some of the most fun I've had playing missions in Call of Duty in a long time. So I can't wait to talk about them. Blood Feud 
Now, I may just really like this one because I'm a huge Hitman fan, but it literally felt like a Hitman mission. You're like assassinating people. The guy you play as, I forget his name, the main character you play as, he's also like a, I don't know if he's a contract killer or something, but in this mission, you're kind of a contract killer and you're killing different targets. And the first one, you use a sniper and you snipe down a dude. It just feels like a Hitman mission. You feel like a Hitman. It's really badass, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple other kills that you do that I'm not gonna talk about because I kind of forgot. But, and I don't feel like researching because it's not that important. These are just our initial reactions. But that mission was so fun, dude. I'm going to replay that one a lot. And I also really love the aspect. Most missions have like multiple choices you can do. So replayability is really good. Just go back and do a different option you did last time, you know. And then uh, the next mission, uh, there is another one before that. The Rook Assemble is just the same thing. You can upgrade your safe house if you want to. And the last mission I played, Most Wanted, which was so fun. It was, you go like undercover in some kind of like a uh, uh, party or something. And there's, uh, so this one is awesome because you are, there's like three different options, three different ways you can take on the mission. You're trying to uh, secure the, you're trying to secure a picture with the Senator. So there's, uh, so yeah, you're at, you're at a Senator meeting. That's where you're at. You're at like a Senator meeting undercover. And you, there's three different options you can take. A covert affair mission, which is like, uh, that's the one I did. So uh, that's the one when the senator, you find out the senator was cheating on his wife and what? tell it. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, so the senator's wife was senator was cheating on the senator's wife, cheating on his wife. You know what I mean? And uh, we figure that out. We tell her about it and then she gets all mad about it. And then she forces him to take a picture. And you take a picture. You need the picture because you need his face to get into what you're trying to get into. So, and the other two is Highest Bitter and Mystery Man. I haven't played those two yet, so I can't wait to replay the mission and try those two uh, those two options. But yeah, that's just like, that's why I'm really liking this campaign so far. There's a lot of different just ways you can do it. You can do the other two when you get a completely different, like, completely different storyline and stuff. I think it's really cool. And then after that, you have to get to the roof. And this part, I'm not going to lie. I kind of had to look it up because I got stuck for so long. I was wandering around not knowing what to do. I had to get to the roof and I didn't realize there were curtains in the in the main area that you can walk through. And I thought they were just for decoration <laughs> and I didn't realize. And I saw them so many times. So I was like, what am I supposed to do? And then I looked it up and I realized you had to go through there. After that, it was pretty self-explanatory. It was fun. Probably my favorite mission of the uh, game, that one or the Hitman one. They're both amazing, but I haven't played uh, any other missions other than that. That's what I played so far. There's. 18 missions uh, all together, and I think it's 11 if you don't count. Yeah, 11 if you don't count the uh, uh, the rook ones with the safe house or whatever. So yeah, uh, I'm like uh, I've only done the first three. So yeah, I still got eight more. So but yeah, it's been really fun so far. And but I definitely recommend it. One thing that I've heard out there is, and the people have said that they really enjoy about this campaign is that it feels like the first COD campaign in a while since like. 2019 modern warfare where it's like a full campaign fully fleshed yeah, like they out, actually like, put thought into each mission it feels like yeah. actually like replayability with everything even the first mission is really fun and yeah, it doesn't not say that cold wars really was, enjoyed it not saying that cold wars campaign oh, was no, bad they had but you still had, they had some fun missions in it but you still felt the restraint that they had from the covid time while yeah. during this time it's like it feels like they can actually fully flesh out a good full story and it feels like a full like fledged like 18 hour campaign exactly and i really can't wait to play the rest of this campaign because i am really into it I and can't it sounds like it's it. got a crap ton of replayability too it with really the does options that you can go through and that sort and of there's stuff. different dialogue tr there's dialogue trees i didn't really mention them yet but so like when you're at the safe house in area you can talk to each person and stuff you can talk to them with the dialogue tree it's nothing like if you do it the next time you play it's not going to change anything because you can you, you can do each option, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. But it's just kind of a fun thing. You can talk to each person and see what's up, you know, you know see how they're feeling in between missions. So it's a nice little thing they added. Gotcha. But, yeah. That's pretty sweet. I uh, Yeah, so it's overall really enjoyed it so far. But I guess for BO6 overall, then, we have been really, uh, us personally, we've been having a lot of fun with it. We can't yeah. wait to continue to make content, and we, me and Riley are hoping that we can sit down and make a video together playing some yes. bo 6 content here soon maybe i'll try to run them through the liberty falls easter egg and yes. we'll see how well that goes that and we'll have some fun in the multiplayer and all that fun jazz so we'll figure yeah. it all out but last very thing few I, negatives so far with yeah. me, which i'm really actually 
Yeah, honestly, there's not a lot, of, not a ton of negatives that I can. Just really like a about. little nitpicks here and there with each little I've, area, but it's nothing like. I've been crazy. finding it really funny seeing the clips online of people hitting like 360 omni movement, laying down trick, so yeah. trick shots, or people <laughs> grabbing other people and putting them in the choke harness and doing uh, that un, is really cool. Un, 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 awesome. Undescribable things to them before yeah. they then murder them so it that is, is actually a really cool touch and <laughs> i hope by uh i think my opinion will change once i play more of the multiplayer about like going to play cold war i just haven't really like done that stuff yet uh, i've only played it a couple times so i just gotta play it and, and i think it'll become its own but i guess the final thing i want to go over before we let you lovely ladies and gentlemen out with your yeah. wonderful day or evening or whatever time it whatever, is that you were watching this. this. Um, I got some news for us. Some big news. First and foremost, DLC 1 for BO6. Oh. I know, we're not even a week in and I have DLC <laughs> 1 news. So, for DLC 1, there's they already told us that it's going to be released before 2025 and the estimated rumor that it's going to be released as like mid-December when they do okay. their uh, season one reloaded update is probably most likely when they're going to do it. Uh, mind you, probably Christmas update too. This Friday, probably when this video is already released, might be this previous Friday. Season one would have already written the original season one for BO6 would have came out, and that's kind of kicking it all off the getting the war zone into everything they're going to be releasing me i've been releasing nuketown and everything like that um but for dlc one some zombies news uh the map name it's going to be called the keep it was kind of ah, you didn't tell me this it was kind of showcased in the terminus ending you have a file there that says the keep um and it also was kind of leaked that it might be named the keep previously um it's supposedly supposed to be like kind of king arthur medieval themed where you kind of so i'm kind of hoping for something more derizen dracky <laughs> derizen dracky but um <laughs> what would be really cool that i would like to see that gets me my gears turning is bring back like another four person wonder weapon but make oh. it like elemental. When was the last time they had one? Uh, it hasn't been since BO4 because they oh. overdid it to crap in BO4. It was like every single map they were doing elemental things for every single one. And it's like, <laughs> okay, guys, we don't need four different variants of the Raygun Mark right. II. But <laughs> yeah. just, so, but what would be really cool is if they did like unique, maybe like medieval swords or something like that. Or yeah. maybe like one's a sword, one's a shield, one's a spear, one's an arrow, bow and arrow or something really sweet like that. That would be some pretty badass stuff. Dude. But I, I'm so excited for this. When you told me this it was going to be like medieval times, you gave me like, I know it's not like the same thing, but I thought of the BO4, like Roman and the Roman. And yeah, I mean, it, it, like, like it's kind of not the same thing, but they're both like, I like history. So they're both like history. Well, so speaking of BO4, for. that's kind of the main thing that they spoilers for anybody who I, I'm her hat doesn't want to get the easter egg cutscene spoiled for them for the Terminus Island ending but pretty much um, they end up name dropping a lot of BO4 zombies but not Ether storyline they did the chaos storyline where they're now as a part of the zombies story they're now going to be going after the sentinel artifact from bo4 zombies from those oh. from the chaos stories crew so it's really weird because originally they said that they would never mix the two stories but then now right. but now it's like there's a different head director they kind of did a soft reboot of oh, zombies in cold war so it was kind of like gotcha. they did it kind of felt like a different it was definitely something different. and like they did kind of hint at it it a was a new storyline was it it was like a new story. yeah it was still a continuation but it was still like kind of a soft okay. reboot continuation of it where it's still got similar gotcha. elements but kind of continuing on from there um but trust me i think you'd find the zombie storyline fascinating it's not i definitely I, watch I, I love lore so i need to watch them uh, be careful, because that's a slippery slope. I'd maybe start with a containment of just the uh, Cold War and Onward storyline. Gotcha. Not Possibly. like the whole thing was starting from World at War. <laughs> it's a bit much when you're starting a World at War. That's all I'll say at that. But it's definitely 
extremely fascinating. Interesting. It, oh yeah, it's, I mean, I know someone I who's been invested in it since the fourth grade, I, I know the entire story by heart and the entire, but the thing is that it's changed over the years too. Hell it was all built on, what? <laughs> It was all tell both, me the story. We would be here for the next 12 hours if I was to tell you the story. But <laughs> so it all From starts with finish. the Apothecans and the Keepers long, long ago. <laughs> so, long, long ago. The galaxy far, far away. The galaxy far, far away. It isn't too dissimilar from ours. But <laughs> the second big leap that happened is speaking of the old crew. They're apparently supposed to return in Black Ops 2020, or in the zo- in the Zombies installment that comes out in 2025, which is rumored I'm to so be sorry. a Black Ops 2 sequel. Um, I crossed my fingers for that. So that would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd be excited for the campaign. I'd be excited for the zombies as well as one player. And <laughs> I'll be I mean, what? And this is coming from multiple different sources and playtesters too, and people that are very, dude, very, very, no, it's like uh, <laughs> people that play test. <laughs> um, my source is insidergaming.com, but I mean there are other Might sources that, to, there too. <laughs> um, you can have your whatever sources you want. I'm gonna stick with some I'm official kidding. channels. <laughs> Thanks for trying to decredit my creditization. You know, even though I have it right here in front of me. Ah, uh, dude, I'm totally just messing with you, for all you, ladies and gentlemen. I just cut Riley out of the conversation, so only I can talk to him right now. This is the um, where the leak is coming from, and. Pretty much, it's hopefully we'll see a return of the zombie story. So, all right, now you're back. Congratulations! Yay! Now that you weren't being annoying. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're fine. I'm just joking. <laughs> well, well, uh, but yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll kind of see where that all goes. Maybe if they do another thing. A big thing that everybody's been wanting to see for a while now has been Zombies Chronicles 2, but we haven't seen that. That would be cool. So, but that would be huge if they did it for either. Yeah. B- I don't think that they'll do it for BO6, considering they have another game lined up with another six zombies maps right there lined yeah. up for it. So we'll kind of see how it all goes. But for the initial review and initial thoughts of Black Ops 6, I would say that this has been a really big success for the COD community as a whole and everybody else like that. If you guys want to make it a success for us, uh, leave a like and a comment. I mean, our other content hasn't been doing great for BO6, so it'd be great if this uh, did decent. So, um, But without further ado... Let let us know what you guys want to see, what you want to see, more BO6, whatever you want, just let us know down below. Yep, Um, because we love making content, and we just got to know what content you guys want to see, so... Yeah. All right, well, I guess that's been this podcast, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Enjoy your Halloween. Stay safe out there. Spooky. Bye. (laughs)